established. All right, here we go. Striker VX versus the legendary Mav Mitchell. I'm excited to see this game. This is probably the two highest ranked players we have. Uh, I'd say so. This is going to be an exciting match for sure. Oh, and Mav is on a tech deck. Tech with only, uh, only War Factory. Interesting. Well, and you know what? With the wheels in play, I think you can actually run an all War Factory deck and forget about infantry. Yep. With wheels plus chem buggy, you can actually answer all infantry. So I think it's not gonna it's not gonna be too bad. I like how much damage these wheels are doing to the dogs. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the second wheel squadron. I don't think that you want to try and fight dogs with wheels, even if it is oh, two I don't know. one. No, of course not. And this pitbull is really cleaning up, and he could have he could have made a tank. I think I would have liked to see tank instead of the second harvester. Not to get me wrong, I do think second harvester is good. I just think he needed to make it sooner or later. You know. Yeah, I agree with you. One thing though, this map seems to favor Double Harvester because it's not that difficult to protect them. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, Mav has no way to beat Predator Tank. That's true, especially a boosted one. But he is Double Harvesting, so actually he can simply make enough uh, enough tanks, right? You can just out economy your opponent. If you can afford... Well, that's what you do against higher levels, right? Yeah, exactly. If you can afford two tanks for every one of theirs, it doesn't matter that you lose 1-1. Wow, Striker okay, gonna take this missile, missile maybe? Too? He might do if he can no, kill this. I don't think he can kill so. this pit bull. Yeah, actually. Looks oh, like he's but gonna. Predator's gonna get on there in time. I don't know if it is. Predator's is real slow. Just about. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, just kills oh, the wait. wheels in time. No, it looks ah, like, no, uh, it looks yeah, like the, gonna the strength of the Predators is gonna take over, and this yeah. is unfortunate for Striker. If Striker had taken that missile, I think he would just won the game almost almost immediately. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But we're seeing the same problem that sure. Yukin had, which is that when your deck is expensive, don't even with two harvesters, you really struggle to get the tech. Oh, you know what? If he gets the Centurions out here, I think it's going to do pretty good work for him because Mohawk's kind of the only answer. But he could just pump out Widowmakers, which actually I don't know about the Mohawk versus Widowmaker matchup. Are you aware of it? Um, I do not know how that goes. I would be interested to see. I certainly am not a fan of Mav making the temple before he had enough money to make a unit. You can see that he desperately wanted to fight to get this harvester back on tip patches. Yeah. And was unable to do so because he'd spent all his money on a temple and nod. And now he's getting heavily punished for it. Striker is completely controlling the battlefield. The missile's about to completely. fire. Yeah, here I we think, go. I think yeah. we're done here. And yeah, Mav going everyone why tech is not playable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Mav is an excellent player. And if he can't make it work, and this is on a map where I feel like it could work. If it's not going to work here, I, it just doesn't seem like it's going to work, period. I, I mean, it, it can. I don't but... think that's a great map for tech. I don't think so, eh? I, I, it's, uh, you saw how easy it is to, to get a, a single unit can just go down that slot at the bottom. Uh, true. That is true. That bottom corridor is a problem for sure. And then you saw how easy it was to block the harvesters from harvesting. Mav is saying he needed lasers over balls. Yeah, for sure, man. Like the, the way your deck lined up wasn't great, but I, I also don't think that's a good map for double harvesting. 